And credit to Vance Joseph and Sean Payton for getting all three phases to work together and figure this thing out. They're they're riding a wave right now, and they look they look confident. They look tough. They're starting to believe. They're figuring it out. Russell's career was in jeopardy three, three and a half months ago. Sean Payton has taken an older, not ideally sized, very unique, expensive quarterback and has taken him from washed to highly effective and a passer rating around 100. They have been lighting the world on fire. If they make it in these playoffs, they're going to give somebody a tough out. They're going to give somebody a really tough out. You know, you guys, I'm just going to get straight into it at this point with the Denver Broncos because whether you want to talk about this team being 6-1 and one in their last seven games or you just want to talk about the fact that both sides of the ball on offense and defense continuously look better week in and week out, this team looks like they have a chance to not only make the playoffs but also have a chance at winning the division. But even with all the great stuff that we've seen from the Broncos over this last seven game stretch. What's crazy is that I still think this team has a ton of room to get even better than they already are. But before we get into why I believe that, if you like Denver Broncos content just like this, make sure to go down and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any Broncos videos for the remainder of this season. Okay, so to get back on topic with the Denver Broncos, this team came into the season with extremely high expectations considering they brought in Sean Payton, who is supposedly one of the greatest coaches of all time. But towards the beginning of the season, as we all know, the Broncos started off 1-5 and five, and it wasn't looking very good. But man, ever since that 1-5 and five start, we've seen this team completely turn everything around, not only some on offense, but especially on the defensive side of the ball. The Broncos after giving up 70 points to the Miami Dolphins were regarded as one of the worst defenses in the league and it was an absolute embarrassment but ever since then the Broncos defense has stepped it up a level and they have became one of the better defenses in the entire NFL. At the start of the year the Broncos were literally at the bottom of every single defensive metric that you want to look at but over the past eight weeks the Broncos have only allowed 12 total touchdowns which is way less than two a game and on top of that they've also had 19 total takeaways, which is on average more than two a game, which is absolute insanity. I don't think I've ever seen a team completely take this big of a 180 mid-season, but it's exactly what the Denver Broncos have been able to do. And as we know, man, it all starts up front with this pass rush. On the Broncos defensive line, they don't have a ton of big name guys, but if you're a Broncos fan, you know that they have guys that are willing to go out there and get the job done. First of all, of course, Jonathan Cooper and Baron Browning on the edges have over exceeded all expectations that anyone would have had for them coming into this year. And they've done a great job not only in the run game, but also at getting after the passer, even if they don't have the sack numbers to back that up. They've done a good job of getting in the backfield and at least causing pressure and causing chaos, which is a big reason why we've seen this Broncos defense have so many takeaways. And then on top of that, on the interior of the defensive line, you also have Zach Allen, who is playing really, really good football right now. And you have guys like DJ Jones and Mike Purcell, who are also playing pretty good ball as well, which makes up one of the more underrated defensive line units in the league, in my opinion. Like I mentioned earlier, they might not be big name guys, but they are playing with energy and effort. And that's led to some pretty good performances over these last seven or eight games. But as we all know, the defensive line isn't the only thing that matters on a defense. You also have to have a good secondary and a good front seven overall. And I think the Broncos have just that. Josie Jewell and Alex Singleton have both played really good football so far this year. And they've made up a good front seven that you need to have. And then of course, in the secondary, you have Pat Sertan, who is one of the best corners in all of football. You have Fabian Moreu, who is also playing at a high level level this year. And then of course you have PJ Lockett safety who is playing really, really underrated football right now. And you have of course Justin Simmons, the veteran who we all know how good he is as a player. So when I look at this unit from top to bottom, you don't see a ton of big names all over the field, but they're playing really good as a unit right now. And I think a lot of credit needs to be given to Vance Joseph because this guy has been a huge reason for why we've seen this success. But what's crazy about this Broncos team is that they don't just have a really good defense. They also have an offense that's continued to get better as the season has gone on, and they're also a big reason why we've seen the Broncos win so many of their recent games. 
A lot of people coming into this season were saying Russell Wilson was washed and that his career was basically over, but I think it's pretty easy to see now that the problem wasn't Russell Wilson and that the problem was definitely Nathaniel Hackett. Nathaniel Hackett didn't put Russell Wilson in a good position to succeed, which is the exact opposite of what Sean Payton has been able to do. We've seen Russell Wilson look so much better this year and his numbers will definitely back that up because he's honestly put up some of the better numbers in the league. He's not only playing really well from within the pocket, but we also still see that he has the ability to get out of the pocket and get out of structure and make plays happen with his legs, which is really, really good to see considering he's pretty old. But I'd be dumb to say that he was the only reason for this offense's success because we've also seen this weapon group take a step up this year and they've been a big reason why the Broncos have been able to move the ball so well. First of all, of course, we gotta talk about that guy Cortland Sutton because at this point, I think he's made himself as an elite receiver one in the NFL. I mean, at this point, he can literally do anything you ask him to do, whether it's run a slant and get open or it's just run a go and make a contested catch. He can literally do it all and we've been able to see him do that on a pretty consistent basis. He has the big frame, he has the speed, I mean he has everything you want in a receiver one, and he's definitely been that for the Broncos. And then of course, you also have Jerry Judy, who hasn't put up any crazy numbers this year, but he still is a really solid number two receiver that defenses have to respect. And then the third option is the rookie Marvin Mims Jr., who really has impressed me this year with how he's been able to play, and he's a great third option to go along with the first two guys that I already mentioned. So when you look at this receiver room, they look pretty good overall, and they're definitely plenty enough to win you games. But even with all the success that we've seen from the passing game so far this season, I think the biggest reason why we've seen this offense have so much success, this offensive line has played way over everyone's expectations, and that's led to the Broncos having a really dominant run game. Javante Williams is playing at a really high level right now, and he's being that powerful back that you can give 20 plus carries to a game to take the load, and then to pair with him as the main back, you also have Jaleel and Samaj P. Ryan, who are really good guys to throw in the mix. So when your offensive line is doing a great job, not only in pass protection, but also in the run game, and you have a trio of running backs you can switch in and out, your offense is going to be pretty good, especially when you have the receivers that the Broncos have. So when you take all of this into consideration, it looks like this Broncos offense is going to be able to score plenty enough to win any game that they're in. And when you pair that with a defense, it's taking away the ball on a super consistent basis. You get a team that's going to be really hard to beat, which is what the Broncos have became. I mean, they're only one game behind the Chiefs in the division, which is something nobody would have believed if you told them that at the beginning of the season. And I think they really do have a shot at winning it, considering all the flaws that the Chiefs have. But that's just my opinion. So I'm still curious to know what you guys are thinking in the comments below So let me know your thoughts about the offense and the defense down there And with that being said, I'll catch all of you guys in the next one